There is a story that we normally, Kenyans have always wanted to know. In the history of, the, of, of Kenya's presidency, kumekuwa na assassination incidents in like in every government to yeah. in every government mm -hmm. during uh, Kenyatta's time kulikuwa na assassinations kadha mm -hmm. na the ones that you are conversant with ni which one ambao unaona almost drove Kenya mm -hmm. into a place of chaos two uh -huh. i think no three uh -huh. three not two Tomboya, J.M. Karioke, and Robert Oko. Ebu tuambia Tomboya? Uh, Tomboya, uh -huh. do you know that the Kenyan constitution, you have to be 35 years to be the president. 35 years and above? Yeah. Uh -huh. It was placed there to block Tomboya. And then they were planning to make it to be 40 because Tomboya had reached 36. Uh -huh. But they decided not to place it because... Uh, they had a problem with uh, Jaramogi. Uh -huh. They had a problem with Jaramogi. Uh, Dimur, they had kicked him out. Uh -huh. So they felt that uh, Tomboya being a Suba, and Suba are considered to be Luos. Uh -huh. So attacking p p two leaders from one tribe would bring a problem. Uh -huh. And then by the time things had cooled, and they were planning now to place it at 40, they saw he was already 39. Mm -hmm. So they are planning, instead of moving, removing from 35 to 45, mm -hmm. to that to 40, they were planning to put it at 45. Then Tomboya planned to kill Jomo. Tomboya planned to kill Mo, Jomo. For real? <clears throat> In politics, we don't have saints. I know. We... In politics, we don't have saints. So when he planned, uh -huh. Uh, the person was taking long, so they were going to meet so that he knows. Just like you, you tell me to go and get your mbuzi, and then you see I'm not bringing mbuzi there. The time. Ama, I try to tell you, kwa vile kuna el nino, sasa maybe mbuzi mepele kwa or something like that. Mm -hmm. So when they met, the intention was for briefing on why the things have reached. Mm -hmm. And before you meet somebody, there's a, a pre redesvo meeting. Mm -hmm. They met at Pan Africa, mm -hmm. and then he gave him time to walk. And then they met at uh, where the, the statue is. Tomboya was going to greet him, and instead of the, the person was pocketing, instead of greeting him, mm -hmm. the person removed a pistol and shot him. But then there is another twist. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a bit complicated. Mm -hmm. There's another twist that uh, this man was taken to Bulgaria mm -hmm. by Jaramogi to train as a gorilla. Now, how Tomboya hired Jaramogi's person to kill Jomo? So it is even possible. Mm -hmm. they, they, so we, we have something we call a double agent. Mm -hmm. I think he was a triple agent. He was working under instruction of Jomo, instruction of yeah, Tomboya and instruction ya yeah, Jaramogi because let me take an example of Jacob Juma. Mm -hmm. Jacob Juma said if anything happens to me, eh, blame Ruto. Uh, uh. Now somebody may be hating Ruto and killing Jacob Juma, isn't it? Yeah. So Jaramogi may have planted this person strategically to kill Tomboya so that people <laughs> And also, he wanted to be the Luo kingpin. Eh? Mm. So it is really hard to know exactly what happened there because mo some of these things we even reach a place where this is somebody who was taken to Bulgaria for guerrilla training by Jaramogi. Mm -hmm. This is somebody whom Tomboya sent to kill Jomo. And Jomo told him, now you can kill Tomboya. It was that way. As for JM Karaoke, mm -hmm. J.M. Karaoke was a populist. Meaning? Uh, he said and did things to make people to be popular. Oh. And uh, this thing annoyed people. Jomo Kenyatta felt that maybe 
uh, J.M. Karuk wants to be the next president. So there was a way of trying to tell him, cool down, let Kenyatta rule, you, you may be the next president. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, J.M.'s last minute on earth was that there was an argument between him and Wanyoike Thugu. Mm -hmm. And Wanyoike slapped him and the teeth came out. Uh, some people are very strong. Mm -hmm. So when he slapped him, the teeth came out and uh, JM had a gun supplied by Ben Gabe. Mm -hmm. So when he went for the gun to shoot Wanyoike, uh, Nani was faster on him Gabe, mm -hmm. and shot him. Then there was a lot of telephone calls over over. Mm -hmm. Now that uh, he has no teeth with a broken hand, what do we do? Uh, that is when Bioko Inange said, finish him. A person like uh, uh, Dead and Derry. Mm. Derry was the head, uh, said, uh, let him t face the due process of law. Mm -hmm. But then there are those people, uh, the majority were for him to be killed, so he was killed there. Now, talking about Tom Boyer, mm. When Uwakati, uh, when a uh, such incident happens, mm. he got assassinated around up or Tomboya Street, right? No, Tomboya, government, oh, Nini. It used to be called Government Road, but nowadays it's called Moy Avenue. Yeah, up or Mali used to Chiwiko. Yeah. That's where he got assassinated. Uwakati mm. kulikuwa na kuna kuna chukua mdamrefu, ndo hizo habari zifikia watu. No. Yeah. Any news used to take a lot of time, but news ya yeah, death of anybody. Yeah. Uh, there is somebody. Wakati, wakati yo, I don't know how, but death ili kwenye fika haraka mm. Like, uh, when Tomboya died, uh -huh. somebody was at railways. You know, railways is where you take matatus to, to Kikuyu, Alliance Uko. Yeah. There's somebody who was a, uh, a student at Alliance High School. Mm -hmm. So when there was tension in town, mm -hmm. Kwamba Tomboya has just been shot and people are running away, he took a matatu. But when he reached Alliance High School, already the students knew that, <laughs> that uh, Tomboya had been killed mm -hmm. and the Luo students and Kikuyu students had started fighting. And the headmaster then, nowadays they are called principal, mm -hmm. called a parade and told them, the person you are fighting, is, those are whatever. So I'm trying to say that uh, if something happened in town and we didn't have mobile phones, mm -hmm. something happened in town, uh, at gov you know, railway stages at the end of Government Road, which mm -hmm. is now called Amoyavin, mm -hmm. and you take a matatu, by the time you reach Kikuyu, already students are fighting there. So you find that news about political assassination used to spread very fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And uh, the reaction and boy it okay. Of course, mm -hmm. maybe the Luo community saw that uh, this was, was was already planned and they you know they, they, at that time the government had planned to kill their own. Yeah. What really any the reaction, how was it now? How did the government manage to control it from you know it was escalate? <laughs> Kenyatta was quick at it. Alita Maskari. Mm -hmm. You know where Ron, Ronald Gala statue is? Yeah. Uh, on Ronald Gala uh, 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 Avenue. Uh, yeah. Re, yeah. Ronald Gala Street. Eh? Yeah. So, walifanya tu araka wakaenda wakaeka nini? Uh, Dias, apo Tasca. Uh -huh. Na maskari waka match the way they match uh, before the president. Ah, is right. Uh -huh. Waka pita president apo, wakaenda wakafika apo. Is it Kenya Cinema? Uh -huh. Abazada. Uh -huh. You see, and then there was a fly passed by <laughs> show of might. As in, what Sielewi, uh, like, while it matched, I love what happened. See, Kenyatta was trying to tell Kenyans he's the commander in chief Mukicheza Nikona Majesh. He matched na, 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 na Skaria. Yeah, Wanakuja na Bunduki. Ah, it's right. Ah, it's front. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And then there was a fly past. That is. <laughs> mm. So what? So it was sending a message, but you see, Uko Kwao, 
siku ya mazishi hata hata nini by the way majority of those who have been killed uh-huh. over 90% are either luos or kikuyus uh-huh. even the during the barrio ya nini ya jm there was a lot of commotion charles nya, nya, not charles simeon simeon nya chai yeah. was the provincial commissioner uh-huh. he was given a speech by the president to talk akanya watu wakalete vita uh-huh. And then the speech he didn't even read that speech he started talking his own things uh-huh. so there's usually that and then there is the show of might unakuta wanyiri kihoro says that uh, when they went for JM's barrio uh-huh. from Gilgil or towards Nyandarwa the road had GSU huku na huku uh-huh. yeah they used to show uh, force yeah and during during Moi Kibaki's no sorry Daniel Moi's uh, time like Kenyatta's time mm-hmm. There were people who were more powerful than even the president sometimes and these mm. are the DCs. Mm. It is alleged that one of them even slapped Moi. No, the, the, the one who slapped Moi was a, a police officer. The provincial police officer for 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 for, for Rift Valley was called Mungai. Why Mungai. why would you slap a vice president? <clears throat> that is why we we came up with this with the 2010 constitution uh. Uh, because those days the vice president was watu wange watu walikuwa namtukana mbele hata ya kila mtu and nothing we could do that is why the new constitution said that uh, the de- they even renamed it and said deputy president uh. and they said that the president cannot fire a deputy president uh. those days ulikuwa uh, nakuta hata nini wanatukana nini There's a any people even used to call a moi at mutumio wa Kenya ata wa kere eh mke wa pili mke wa Kenya ata wa pili yeah so they they used to there was a contempt to the person and the office of the vice president mm. but the new constitution took over took 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 care of that mm.